Good morning, children. Welcome to online class. The civics part, the second lesson is going on. You know everything. Is it so? Union government lesson. Okay. It deals about the union government lesson. In this lesson, you know already I taught about the president. Yes. So today I have the plan to teach vice president. Yes, the powers and functions of the parliament. Okay, as well as the prime minister. Okay, so those things only we are going to learn under this part. Okay, children. Yes, page number two hundred and fifty. It is given, children. You can take it. Yes, you can take it, children. So, what are the things are given under that vice president? Yes, vice president, how they how they are considering in the sense next of the president, this person. Okay, next of the president. So, when uh, when the president is absent, the vice president has to do all the work. Yes, how they are uh, giving in the sense uh, given in the sense in your book, um, the vice president occupies the second highest office in the country. Yes, he occupies second of uh, second highest office. So, next next of the president, next of the President, this person, yes, this person occupies, this person in the sense, vice president occupies the position, yes, so he is accorded a rank next to the president, yes, just before I told, yes, so this office, yes, this office is modeled, yes, it's a modeled in the sense, it looks like, okay, American president, yes, American president, American vice president, yes, this office is modeled like a, a line of American Vice President. So, so, in our constitution, as per the article 63, yes, it provides, it provides, otherwise provides in the sense, it gives for a vice president. Regarding the vice president, it is given in the constitution as per the article 63. So, this office, you know, has been created to maintain what for this post was created in the sense, vice president post was created in the sense, in order to maintain the political continuity of the state. Yes, political continuity of the state so that's what you know this post was created like that they are telling okay children yes so this person you know everyone is a dr radha krishnan he was the first vice president of india yes he was the first vice president of india yes so you know i think so the next one you know what is given qualification of the vice president what are the qualifications are there like president only Okay, like a president, so the qualifications are there, children. Okay, so what is given in the sense, he should be a citizen of India. Yes, vice president, you know, he should be a citizen of India. Okay, the next one, uh, how much age uh, he should complete in the sense, 35 years, you know, at least he has to complete. Okay, complete. Then, uh, then say third one, what is given, he must not hold any office of profit under union government, state government or local Government. This is already I told. Uh, yes, uh, when I was teaching the president, is yes, he must hold. Uh, he must not uh, hold any office. He should not have any office of the state or union government or local government. The next one, you know, he should have other qualifications. Okay, he should. Uh, this here, you know, you should uh, check clearly. Listen, uh, listen carefully, children. Because when I was teaching president, I told he should have the other qualifications. To be a member of the Lok Sabha, like that I said when I was teaching president. So now I am going to tell, yes, under the president, vice president, what is given in the sense, he should have other qualifications required to be a member of the Rajya Sabha, to be a member of the Rajya Sabha. Okay, so uh, here, you know, what is given in the sense, election. Yes, uh, how the election is conducting for the uh, you know, vice president, how in the sense, uh, like president, yes, like president, indirect election, okay, indirect election, so as per the article 66, yes, as per the article 66, 1, the vice president, like the president is elected not directly, sorry, like the president is elected not directly by the people, but the method of indirect election, so like the president only, he, uh, he is electing, yes, so, the term of the office, the term, you know, like president only, five years. Okay, five years. His office, you know, may terminate. Yes, may terminate earlier than. Sometimes, you know, it may be stop uh, than the fixed term either by resignation. Yes, during the time of his resignation or during the time of his death or by a removal. Yes, by removal. So, during the time, sometimes, you know, because of the impeachment, they may, uh, they may, uh, you know, remove, yes, they may remove the uh, vice president. So, that time only he can lose his post. So, he is eligible for re-election like a president, like 
president so till then you know deputy chairman who will be take uh, all the responsibilities in the sense uh, listen carefully after the removal of vice president who will be there in the sense deputy chairman of the rajya sabha deputy chairman of the rajya sabha he has to perform the duties of the chairman of the rajya sabha okay so chairman if he is uh, you know losing his post uh, in if he remove from his post in the sense deputy chairman will be there like that they are telling okay so actually you know how many years are terms five years only okay five years like a president then moreover indirect election like a president everything like a president indirect election okay indirectly he is electing okay not by the people okay children the next what is given in the sense uh, children uh, you know do you know column yes do you know column it's given children you can check it if the post of president is so one person in during the time of the you know 1969 yes so chief justice so if the president is uh, vacant the president as well as vice president post is vacant who will be responsible in the sense uh, chief justice of india yes he can be work as a president like that they are telling so the situation you know once upon a time it was happened which year in the sense uh, 1969 yes 1969 chief justice m hidayatullah is yes, this person he was appointed as the president of india yes he was the chief justice of india at that time children okay so m hidayatullah in the year 1969 he was appointed as president of india because that time president post as well as vice president post was vacant okay yes then removal of vice president how can we uh, remove uh, the vice president from his post okay so what vice president may be removed from his office by a resolution of the council of states council of states in the sense rajya sabha members okay so council of states are passed by the majority of all the then members of the council okay and agreed to the house of the people lok sabha members also they have to agree that then only you know we can remove the vice president from his post so who has the power to bring a resolution yes here you know council of states like that it is given council of states in the sense rajya sabha members so rajya sabha members has the power to bring the resolution against the vice president so that time who has to accept house of people house of people in the sense who lok sabha members you know they have to accept that resolution then only we can you know remove vice president from his post so a resolution for this purpose may be moved but you know before passing a resolution yes so 14 days before you know they have to give the they have to give the intention yes so intention they have to they have to give the information to the vice president yes so that's the thing okay the next what is given in the sense functions of the vice president so here what are the functions are there in the sense children you know uh, vice president is the ex officio chairman of the rajya sabha yes he is the ex officio chairman of the rajya sabha so moreover he is uh, regulating the proceedings of the house uh, proceedings in the, of the house in the sense lok sabha as well as rajya sabha moreover he de decides the order of the house okay he decides he uh, decides he controls the order of the house third point he decides the admissibility what is mean by admissibility what is the meaning in the sense accept okay uh, he is uh, he is he uh, has to accept uh, resolutions or questions which is passed by the lok sabha okay so this is the functions uh, functions of the vice president the fourth what is given in the sense he suspends he has the right to suspend or adjourn a same meaning only suspend or cancel or abolish the cow, house house in the sense lok sabha as well as rajya sabha in case of a grave disorder is when the president is unable to discharge his duties when the president is couldn't do that duty in the sense because of the illness yes otherwise uh, so he went to tour for a uh, foreign country yes so due to the illness or absence from the country he attends some other functions of the you know president yes for a period of so if the president is missing the vice president he can attend the meetings of the president yes nearly for a period of Six months, uh, you know, for a period of six months, you know, he can manage the situation. Okay, he can manage. Who can manage, Vice President? Okay, if the President is, 
you know if the president's post is vacant otherwise if the president is well, not well otherwise illness as well as you know if, if he went to other country as a tour okay so that time you know the vice president can take the responsibility he can attend the meetings of the president like they are telling then you know this box what is given in the sense casting vote casting vote yes so what is given in the sense this is the um, casting vote in the sense final vote final vote it is with the whom in the sense it's uh, within the you know that vice president like they are telling according to article 100 is yes, uh, 100 of the constitution the vice president only cast his vote when there is a tie over the bill in the rajya sabha if the bill is a tie if the bill uh, bill you know equally if they are casting the vote over the bill in the sense uh, you know this person is yes, this person in the sense vice president he can cast the cast his vote it means that there is no uh, sorry there is uh, need for one vote only to pass the bill one vote need to pass the bill in the sense this person has the eligible he, he, he is the eligible person to cast his vote yes no members have any other any right to oppose his decision that's a final vote yes a final vote casting vote if the bill need only one no only one vote yes so that vote you know who can he who can uh, uh, put in the sense you know vice president yes he has the power to cast his vote yes that's the thing so no members have any right to oppose his decision yes the next what is given in the sense um, you know this much only children vice president is he only yes uh, then he is uh, you know he is his position you know second position if the president is vacant if the president's uh, you know that post is vacant in the sense he can do all the works of the president like that it is given yes the same qualifications only yes so moreover indirect election only on the basis of the indirect election only they are electing the vice president yes so moreover i told is it I told uh, remaining things like he should be a citizen of India at the age of, uh, you know, he should have completed that uh, 35 years like that and all I said. Is it children? Yes. So, the next what is given in the sense Prime Minister. Yes, Prime Minister. Yes. So, as per the Article 1. Yes, as per the Article 1, there shall be a council of ministers with the Prime Minister as the head to aid and advise the president so who has to give the advice to the uh, president in the sense of prime minister such a powerful post okay yes prime minister yes prime minister you know uh, the post of the prime minister of india has adapted adapted in the sense followed adapted in the sense what is the meaning followed yes so prime minister of india that post was uh, followed yes from the west minister model from the england constitution constitution okay west minister model of the constitutional democracy so in england the parliament the particular parliament you know england parliament you know it's uh, located or is situated in west minister area so that's what the parliament is called as west ministers parliament okay so we are getting so um, uh, here what is given in the sense the post of prime minister Yes, the, the post of Prime Minister, this model, you know, we are getting from whom? Yes, England Constitution. <coughs> Next, what is given in the sense, uh, you know, you, you know, everyone, first, uh, he was the first Prime Minister of India. Yes, Jawaharlal Nehru, he was the first Prime Minister of India. So, um, Prime Minister in the sense, uh, they were the uh, leader of the majority party he was the leader of the majority party in the Lok Sabha yes who is appointing prime minister he is appointing by president yes a president yes so president only appointing prime ministers okay then the other ministers also appointed by the president on the advice of the prime minister on the advice of the prime minister then if no party command absolute majority in the Lok Sabha the president you know he can call the leader Yes, he can summon the leader, he can call the leader of any party who is in his opinion, can manage to form the ministry. So, no one is getting the majority in the sense, president has the right to call any party members to form the government that is given there. Then next one, what is given in the sense, the president, yes, the president administers, otherwise he is appointing the ministers. So, the in front of him, only the ministers are taking the oath of office as well as Secrecy. Yes, you know, in Tamil they used to tell Padavi Pramanam, Ragasiya Kapu Pramanam. Okay, so that, that things only are given here. So, oath of office as well as secrecy. Okay, a person who is not a member of the parliament can be appointed as a minister. See, here it is very, very important. 
so a person can be appointed that person you know the particular person who is not a member of the parliament he, he is not a member of the parliament those members even can become a ministers but he has to get himself he, he has to himself uh, yeah he has to elected himself you know to the parliament within 6 months within 6 months so the ministers are individually as well as collectively responsible to the lok sabha so each and every ministers are responsible to the lok sabha because we are electing is yes, by you know in was by using the universal adult franchise we are sending the members to the parliament so each and every persons are responsible to the lok sabha like that they are telling then duties of the prime minister duties as well as functions so this one you know already i taught yes the third lesson itself i taught children okay as per the article 78 Yes, as per the article 78, you know, um, you know, it mentioned in the, about the duties of the Prime Minister. Okay, the Prime Minister, you know, he can decide the rank of his ministers. Okay, rank in the sense here, what is the meaning in the sense? Uh, position. Okay, he can uh, fix the position of the ministers and he can distribute the portfolios. Okay, distribute the various portfolios in the sense of departments. Here it is given departments like that. Okay, so the Prime Minister has the power to fix the position of the ministers as well as he has the power to distribute the uh, departments to the ministers. Okay, then the Prime Minister decides the dates of the meetings, the dates, everything he has the, he only, he, he in the sense of the Prime Minister is deciding the dates as the dates and the agenda of the meeting. Yes, what are the things we have to speak, everything of the cabinet which he presides. So, what are the things ministers has to speak in the meeting, public meeting, everything, you know, president, the prime minister only is telling. Okay. <clears throat> then the prime minister informally consults two or three of his senior colleagues when he does not convene a cabinet meeting. The prime minister, you know, what he is doing in the sense informally. What is the meaning of informal in the sense unofficial? Okay, so unofficial, informal, what is the meaning? Unofficial. The Prime Minister informally consults two or three senior ministers, senior colleagues when he does not convene a cabinet meeting. The next one, you know, the Prime Minister supervises, yes, the Prime Minister supervises the work of various ministers, sorry. The Prime Minister, you know, he is, uh, you know, the, what he is doing in the sense, uh, he is supervising the work of various ministers. Then, uh, he is uh, discussing the president. Yes, the president, you know, sorry, the prime minister, you know, um, that point is given to discuss, uh, converse like that it is given. In your book, it is given, children, you can check it. Here it is missing. Okay, sorry for that. Uh, three points are missing, children. Yes, uh, to discuss, converse in the sense, uh, discuss. Uh, yes, uh, he is discussing with the president. Uh, yes, uh, regarding the council of ministers, uh, connecting to the government of the affairs of the union and proposals for the legislation regarding the laws also he is consulting with the uh, president okay so that's the thing the next one you know the prime minister act as a link between president as well as council of ministers so, so this one you know easily you people can understand i think so the next one the prime minister is the leader of the nation yes sir, he is the leader of the nation and moreover he is the uh, you know chief spokesperson of the country yes the next what is given in your book in the sense uh, page number 252 as the leader of the nation the prime minister represents our nation he is representing yes when uh, uh, what are the things uh, what are the times that he is uh, you know that representing our nation at all the uh, during the time of the international conferences uh, okay international conferences like commonwealth meeting summit of uh, non-aligned nations, SARC nations, so that meeting, international level, you know, he is uh, attending the meeting, yes, uh, because of, on behalf of India, like that it is given, okay, children, then uh, what is given, council of ministers, so this much only it is given under the prime minister, the next one, you know, council of ministers, so council of ministers is very, very easy, children, after the election, yes, after the election, after the completion of the election, uh, the president of India, on the advice of the chief, uh, prime minister, he is appointing the council of ministers. So here we can take from one word, one word from this part. Okay, the council of ministers is appointed by the president. Okay, so prime minister also is appointed by the president. Okay, so president is appointing council of ministers, but on the advice of the prime minister, like that it is given. The constitution of India is yes, the constitution of India. Very very important children. 
the constitution of india restricts restricts is reduce restricts the number of council of ministers including the prime minister to 15 percentage of the total members of the including prime minister the council of ministers totally 15 percentage only should be in the lok sabha like that you know the like that you know limitations are there in the constitution okay so the next what is given in the sense categories of the ministers what are the categories are there in the sense cabinet ministers okay cabinet ministers ministries of state as well as deputy ministers cabinet ministers that's the central ministers okay this one you know state ministers ministers of state deputy ministers in the sense they are helping of both cabinet ministers as well as state ministers so this much only children the next what is given in the sense uh, you know the the cabinet ministers uh, you know the cabinet ministers uh, is an informal body just before only i told informal body in the sense unofficial body unofficial body is yes, an official body of senior ministers is yes, a senior ministers who form the nucleus of administration nucleus what is the meaning in the sense central okay central part of administration so important decisions it's very very important cabinet ministers you know uh, who, who are they? the sense of defense ministers finance ministers external affairs ministers home affairs ministers they were considered as a cabinet ministers so they can take important decisions like that it is given children then uh, state ministers you know you know this people you know they were considering as a second category of ministers a second category of ministers in the council of states so they are also in charge of ministries or departments but they do not participate it's very very important state ministers they do not participate in the meetings of the cabinet ministers unless invited if they were invited if the cabinet ministers are invited the state ministers they have to go otherwise you know they should not interfere in their decision okay the next one you know deputy ministers deputy ministers and deputy ministers only they are in the lowest rank okay lowest ranked ministers that is in the cabinet you know deputy ministers they assist either they assist in the sense they were they can help okay either the ministers of the cabinet or the state ministers in the perform of the duties okay so like that it is given children three types of the ministers are there cabinet ministers state ministers and deputy ministers so state that cabinet ministers they are they have the powers is more powers they have as well as a defense minister for example i told the defense ministers finance ministers um, external affairs ministers home affairs ministers those people are considered as the cabinet ministers then uh, state ministers also they should not interfere in the decision of the in the decision of the uh, cabinet ministers so deputy ministers they were considered as the lowest ranked ministers yes they can assist the ministers of the cabinet as well as the state okay the next what is given the parliament of india is parliament of india you know the parliament uh, you know it has consisted of two houses rajya sabha as well as lok sabha like that you know the lawyer classes itself you might have learned i think so as children the parliament of india is considered as it's a legislative organ law passing yes the laws and all they can pass in the parliament yes parliament of india it has consisted of three parts as yes, one is president yes, okay one is president one is president the next one is the rajya sabha that is the council of states the next one is lok sabha okay lok sabha in the sense house of people house of people so rajya sabha how they were considered in the sense in the last classes and all i told i think so when i was teaching third lesson yes uh, rajya sabha is considered as the upper house lok sabha is the lower house yes it's termed as a bicameral legislature what is mean by bicameral legislature the parliament has consisted of two houses Okay, the parliament has consisted two houses. That's what, you know, it is the term as the bicameral legislature. Yes, bicameral legislature. So, Rajya Sabha, uh, how many years a term, how many members are there, everything it is given. This one, you know, in the initial stage when I started this lesson, I told, I think, so Rajya Sabha, how many members are there? Totally 250 members. Totally 250 members. Out of 250, 238 members, you know, uh, they were represents the states and the union territory is elected by the methods of indirect election. Rajya Sabha members, you know, 238 members are through the indirect election they were electing. Okay. So, remaining 12 of them, remaining 12 of them is appointed by the president like that I told. Yes, so those who have persons having special knowledge or practical experience in the field of literature, science, 
um, sports as well as social service and art okay and art so such a way children just before i told 250 members totally out of 250 238 members you know they were elected in the indirect manner by the indirect manner then 12 of them nominated by the president so such a way it's uh, moving then next one what is the qualifications of the Rajya Sabha member is a citizen he should be a citizen of India okay Rajya Sabha member qualification it is given children is he should be a citizen of India moreover he should not less than he should not be less than 30 years of age 30 years of age then he should not the same only he should not hold any other office of profit under any government okay the next one you know he should be a person with sound mind and you know monetarily solvent financially he should be good that is the meaning financially he should be good then he should not be a member of the Lok Sabha or any state legislature so this is the qualifications for of the Rajya Sabha members okay the term of the house also the same thing only children okay uh, but uh, not same thing Lok Sabha's five years is it so here the term of, of the office you know six years okay so one third of the members of the Rajya Sabha retire every two years okay so just before I told I guess the 250 members like that I told so 250 members so one third of the members okay one third of the members uh, you know is retiring every two years so the new members are elected to fill the seats thus vacated so uh, who is the chairperson is a vice president of India is the ex officio chairperson this is one word answer children this is the one word answer the vice president of India is the ex officio chairperson of the Rajya Sabha the deputy chairperson of Rajya Sabha is elected by the members of the Rajya Sabha everything indirect election okay in Rajya Sabha okay the next one regarding the money bill money bill in the sense it's a budget it uh, passed only in the Lok Sabha that is given here so only Lok Sabha only they can pass the uh, money bill okay they can introduce the money bill but you know uh, they, they have to get the approval from the Rajya Sabha so it passed to Rajya Sabha to for its approval yes if Rajya Sabha fails to pass it within 14 days for within 14 days they have to send it back to Lok Sabha okay so without the approval of Lok sorry uh, within 14 days then the bill gets passed without the approval of Rajya Sabha okay also Lok Sabha does not need so within 14 days they have to send it back the bill to um, you know Lok Sabha otherwise you know it will be cancelled which one will be the Lok Sabha need, uh, sorry Ra, uh, Rajya Sabha you know need not give any permission in that Lok Sabha need not consider that even so that's the thing okay so Lok Sabha can reject all the proposals of Rajya Sabha and it can pass it so that is the power of the Lok Sabha like that it is given okay then election how they were electing in the sense the members of the Rajya Sabha are elected by the members are elected by elected members elected by the elected members of the state legislative assembly in accordance with the system is yes, how they are in the sense um, uh, by the means of single transferable vote so in that is the indirect election that is the indirect election as they are not elected by the people directly so we did not elect the members of the Rajya Sabha we are electing only the Lok Sabha members okay so here indirect election it is going on okay so that's the thing the next one Lok Sabha okay so in the initial stage itself I told I think so children is uh, totally how many members are there in the sense of 545 members like that I said I think so okay 545 members are there Five, 545 members are there out of that 543 members you know we are electing the president you know electing two members from the Anglo Indian community like that I told already okay the same thing only it is given see here <coughs> The Lok Sabha, you know, today uh, has uh, 543 elected members are there. Out of these, 530 members are elected from the, so out of these, you know, 530 members are elected from the states as well as the 13 members from the union territories, so such a way. The president, you know, nominates the two members belonging to the Anglo-Indian community. So at present, how many members are there? 545 members are there. So I told 543 members, you know, elected by the people. Yes, they were from the states as well as they were from the union territories. Plus two of them, you know, elected by the president from the Anglo-Indian community. Okay, so this much only children. The next what is given? 
is the qualifications qualifications like uh, rajya sabha members only he should be citizen of india then uh, he should not less than 25 years of age then the electoral rolls you know his, his name should be there in the electoral rolls in some part of the country okay this is the additional point children is in rajya sabha it is not given why in the sense that's the indirect election this is the direct election no he is elected by the people so he should not hold any office of profit or uh, union or state government then mentally he should be sound as well as financially he should be sound and like that it is given this is the qualifications of the lok sabha members okay the term you know the term of the house five years term of the house what is that five years sorry five years okay so five years uh, it can be dissolved by the president so who has the power to dissolve lok sabha in the sense president okay before the expiry term itself he has the power to uh, dissolve the lok sabha okay yes that is given the next one you know the emergency provisions of the constitution enable the president yeah president uh, has uh, prorogue the prorogue or dissolve the lok sabha either on advice of the prime minister or being convinced that no party okay so he need not consult with anyone otherwise sometimes you know he can ask the advice from the prime minister so such a way you know that uh, president has the power to uh, dissolve the lok sabha like that it is given okay five years term okay children yes the next two you know the members of the lok sabha how they were electing in the sense uh, we are electing that uh, members of the lok sabha by the people like that it is given okay people of the constituencies uh, constituencies in the sense taudi okay so it created on the basis of the population okay so by uh, which one we are electing the people in the sense uh, electing the lok sabha members in the sense uh, the election commission of india who is arranging the election the election commission of india arranges and supervises the elections to the elections uh, okay so um, universal adult franchise people everybody knows i think so those go all indian citizens uh, who above um, you know 18 years of age they were registered as voters will vote for their representatives so those go above indian citizens they must be indian citizens above the age of 18 years they have the they can have the right to cast their vote such a way you know lok sabha members you know we are electing okay the next one it is given here universal adult suffrage universal adult franchise yes that's a just before i told na casting of vote yes then you know about those go about 18 years of age 18 years of age okay so 18 years age then you know here it is given functions okay functions in the sense everybody knows in the lok sabha only they can introduce the money bill like that i said okay money bill uh, you know must be passed in the lok sabha then it has same power as rajya sabha okay to participate in the case of the last class i told impeachment power okay impeachment both the houses should accept one fourth of the members they have to participate like that and the like said is it so here it is given so in case impeachment of president and judges of the supreme court okay so uh, during that then it has the equal power as rajya sabha in passing any bill for constitutional amendment what is meant by amendment you know changes so if, uh, if they are making any changes in the constitution both houses you know should be attended in the parliament okay like that it is given then you know here in tamil nadu level you know should uh, we should appreciate this one because uh, from for the elected members of the parliament from tamil nadu yes rajya sabha how many members are there in the sense uh, 18 members are there from tamil nadu okay so totally how many members 250 members is it yes 250 members out of 250 18 members from tamil nadu at the same time lok sabha 39 members are there okay so how many members totally 545 members like that is it yes then 39 members you know from tamil nadu okay so that's the thing the next one you know speaker okay speaker this is the last one children is a speaker uh, you know uh, speaker what are the things are given in the sense uh, children uh, you know the lok sabha is presided lok sabha head okay speaker lok sabha you know when the lok sabha meeting is going on you know one person used to uh, sit in the top and then moreover he used to maintain the silence you know speaker is a who is elected by its members the office of the speaker occupies an essential position in our parliamentary democracy the speaker continues to be in the office even in the uh, what is that in the sense uh, speaker he can continue his post if the house is uh, dissolved also if the lok sabha is dissolved also he can continue till the new speaker's arrival okay that's the thing the speaker you know presides over a joint meeting of the two houses of the parliament what are the two houses lok sabha and 
Rajya Sabha. Okay, so he has the power to decide whether a bill is money bill or ordinary bill. Who has the power? Speaker has the power. Okay, the particular bill is money bill or ordinary bill. Yes, so that one, you know, he can decide. So that's the thing. Then while the office of the speaker is vac vacant, the speaker is absent from the sitting of the house, the deputy speaker will take in charge. Okay, then three types of the sessions are there, parliamentary sessions. What are the sessions are there in the sense? Budget session, yes, which month to which month? February to May, yes, February to May. The third, second one, you know, monsoon session. Yes, monsoon session, uh, July to September. Winter session, November to December. So, this is very important. Yes, uh, you know, the, they won't ask you such a question. But you should understand that's what they are given here. The parliament sessions, three sessions are there. Budget session, monsoon session, as well as winter session. Budget session, which month? February to May. Uh, monsoon session, sorry, but monsoon session, um, July to this, uh, September. Yes, winter session, November to December. Yes, such a way it is given children. This is the last one. Powers and functions of the parliament. Yes, powers and functions of the parliament. So, the parliament of India, you know, has two houses like that I said, I think so. Yes, what are the powers are there in the sense? Overseeing the administration. Okay, passing the budget. Yes, ventilation of public grievances. Okay, uh, and discussion of various subjects like uh, developmental plans for countries. For the welfare of the countries, it passing the, uh, you know, the laws, international relations and internal policies. So, these are the powers of the functions of the, uh, you know, uh, parliament. The parliament also has uh, some powers, you know, some powers of impeach the president. Okay, he can, it can remove, the parliament can remove the judges of the Supreme Court and the High Court. Chief Election Commissioner and the Comptroller, Comptroll in the sense of Chief Justice. Comptroller, what is the meaning children? Chief Justice, okay. And Auditor General of India in accordance with the procedure laid down in the Constitution. So, President has, sorry, Parliament has the power to impeach these personalities from the post. Then Parliament has the power to change the boundaries of the state. Okay, it has the power to change the boundaries of the states. So, such a power, such a power general, who has a parliament have. Okay. So, as children, the next class, we can mark the question answers. Okay. Uh, remaining, you know, very limited portions are there, limited parts are there. Okay. Plus, you know, we can mark the question answers. Okay, children. Yes, I learned for the half early examination, totally 22 lessons are there. Okay. Including this lesson. Okay. Including this lesson. Okay, children. Thank you.